Okinawa has over 100 beaches, and with year-round warm weather, you can visit them all year long. So how can you decide which ones you want to see? For years I have explored all of Okinawa, and I have my list of my favorite beaches that I want to share with you. I'll explain why I like each one, and you can decide which ones you want to visit. This is my list for the top 5 beaches of Northern Okinawa. Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you the best beaches of Northern Okinawa. Okinawa can be divided into three regions. The southern region, that contains Naha, the biggest city and capital of Okinawa. It is by far the most populated area of the island. The middle section of Okinawa contains Okinawa City and many other smaller towns blending all the way down to Naha. It contains the biggest American population with the most populated military bases. The northern section is the largest but least populated and contains some of the best natural scenery and beaches that Okinawa has to offer. That's the section that I'll be covering in this video, but I also have videos for the central and southern portions of Okinawa as well, so check those out when they're available. Feel free to let me know what your favorite beaches are in the comments, and I may just add them to my next list. To start off this list, I wanted to show you a beach on the eastern side of the island, as most of these beaches will be on the west. The ones on the eastern side aren't usually as nice or sandy, but this one is special for a different reason. The first one is known as Sea Glass Beach. It's an unusual spot because for some reason, sea glass gets washed upon its shores more than any other beach. And so if you like looking for treasure, this beach always has something to find. Sea glass are broken pieces of glass from bottles or floats that have been washed in the ocean for any period of time, even years, adding texture and smoothing out the edges. There isn't a confirmed reason as to why this beach gets more glass than any other, but I'm pretty sure it's the washboard-like rocks that are abundant here. It's not bad for wading in the water and enjoying the Pacific Ocean as well. Diamond Beach is second on this list. It may not be a popular one, but it's free and it has a lot to offer. Every time I've been, it's been mostly empty, save for a few snorkelers and scuba divers. This is one where you feel like the beach is all yours. Even though it's not popular, it has a certain charm to it, and there are spots in and out of the water with some exquisite sand. Fishing is popular here, as well as snorkeling and scuba diving when the tide is high. Nearby, there are a few cafes, a dive shop, as well as plenty of free parking and a souvenir store. With the next beach, let's be more Pacific. Gesashi Upama Beach may be easy to say, but it's a bit out of the way for most people. And that's what makes it special. Tucked away in a little corner of the island, it's not a place that you would normally see unless it's your destination. Even though it's remote, it has parking, bathrooms, and showers. It's free, and it's a great beach to camp at. You won't get a sunset here, but the sunrise is in full view. There is a chain of small islands near the northern city of Nago, all near each other and connected by bridges. One of the most popular spots around 
is Cory Beach on Cory Island. The long bridge that is one of Okinawa's newest connects this island and allows easy access, which a couple of decades ago was only possible by ferry. That bridge is the backdrop to this scenic spot. If relaxing on the beach or swimming isn't enough, Cory Beach has fun activities you can purchase. Something about weaving under the bridge makes jet skiing even more fun than other places around. While this sand dollar shaped island is small and takes less than half an hour to traverse, it has plenty of options to enjoy a nice lunch or dinner. In fact, just around the corner from Cory Beach, you can enjoy tropical food, tropical drinks, and um, tropical smiles. The last and final beach I have chosen as my favorite in Northern Okinawa is Sesoko Beach on the island of the same name. This beach has won the top spot on many polls and lists and it's easy to see why. An 800 meter stretch of sugar soft sand makes any trip here worthwhile. It's definitely in the running for having the softest sand on Okinawa. While relaxing or playing, you get Mina and EA Islands as your backdrop, or just enjoy the sunset over the water if you stay late enough. Parking isn't free here, but it's worth staying all day for. You can snorkel here too if the tide is high, but the water is always great to get in. Go check out these spectacular beaches and see for yourself. Stay tuned for more videos as I plan to release one every week or two. I hope this has helped you plan out your next few beach days. Or if you aren't lucky enough to be a resident of Okinawa, you can at least get a glimpse of the beauty that we get to see every day. Until next time.